Hi YouTube, got a package today. I'm just going to open it up and I'm going to share it with you and share who it's from. Be right back. Hi guys, I'm back. Um, I'm going to try and do this video quick. I apologize for it being a fast one, but my, I'm filming this from my phone and it looks like my battery is almost dead. But this is my order and this is from, let me just, it's really quick. You guys know that. It is Lori from the Hen and Her Chicks. And there comes up my battery meter telling me my battery's dead. Excuse the messiness on my bed. But anyways, this is my order. And she was so sweet um, to send this to me. I've been watching all her soaps and I've been wanting to try. I just haven't um, got around to it. I'm always ordering from everybody. Like I said, I want to support all the soapers out there. And all of you do such beautiful work. And eventually I know for sure I'm going to have a small collection or a sampling from everyone um, that I've been watching. Um, and I have been using everybody's uh, bars. Um, have tons of them though. don't know how I'm going to get through all, but I'm definitely um, excited every time I get a package from somebody. So I want to say a big thank you to, uh, to Lori again for sending me out my soaps. And I did notice you threw in a couple extras. And she sent me also a beautiful little card with a little handwritten note in there. Thank you, Lori. Love it. All right, so I'm going to open up all these. Um, there's a few samples here and the bars I ordered and an extra bar that she sent me. All right, so I'm going to open up everything so I can tell you what they all smell like. I just want you guys to see the beautiful packaging that she does with her beautiful ribbons and the little uh, tags. I think it's so adorable. Okay, up. And I especially love this. I think this is really cute. It looks very professional. Mm. If you guys can see that. The hen and her chicks. Oops, I didn't realize her phone number was on there. <laughs> Sorry. So yeah, the hen and her chicks. Alright, I'll be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. Okay, so I was able to open up all the bars. And of course, you know that one keeping noise is Cairo. I don't know why he's not sleeping. It's actually quite late at night that I'm doing this, but... He seems to think he can stay up all night because it's summer. Anyhow, I'm going to start with the uh, samples here. So this first sample is Coco Cabana. And, oh, sorry, let me show it to you. <laughs> it has a glycerin soap in bed at the top. It's got a white um, top part of the bar, and it looks like a natural soap color at the bottom with a crinkle cut. And this has a, like a cinnamon scent to me. Too. Well, I can't really describe it. Not quite cinnamony, like a very, like a spicy scent, but kind of very light. And there's like a little bit of a sweetness to it too. I can't really describe this one, but it's really, really pretty. I like it. I'm not saying that it smells bad or anything. I really like it. I just, I can't describe it. <laughs> and I'm not very good at describing scents either. But to me, it has like a spiciness to it that's just not super strong, but like a sweet spiciness is the best way I can describe that. This other sample she sent is cinnamon apples. And I, sh I admit, I tell you guys that these samples are good sizes. Like, this is a good piece of a sample that you can get a couple showers out of. Like, it's, look, it's thick. This one's quite long. It's a good size sample, including this one. It's shorter, but it's just as thick. And this one, you can really smell the apple in this one. The cinnamon is like, um, is not as strong, but it's definitely a sweet apple with a little hint of cinnamon in there. And it's cinnamon apples. Really nice. I like it. And look at that beautiful swirl with the blue and the white and the lighter blue and a little bit of topping there and oh look at all the glitter so pretty I like it now this one oops sorry guys fingers in the way is a huge sample oh my gosh Lori thank you so much I decided this is the bar I'm taking with me to uh, Punta Cana on Tuesday I can't wait to leave but this is going to be perfect for me for the, <laughs> sorry guys, perfect for me for um, the week that I'm there. I think this should last me that whole week, if not more. But it is such a beautiful bar. 
Oh my, I can't, my phone is not picking. Oh, maybe there, you can see the sprinkles. They're so pretty. And it's got a green and yellow swirl and my camera's not picking up the vibrancy or the true color. I can see it's very muted on my phone, but in real life, it's very like fluorescent green and blue, um, blue, sorry, fluorescent green and yellow. And a very nice white top. And this smells so good. This one is Fizzy Pear. And oh, I love fruit scents, as we all know. Which is maybe why she sent me the fruity samples, but oh my gosh, I love this. Oh, it smells so good. I can't wait. I'm, I already have a soap dish too. I was like wondering what bar soap I was going to take with me, but I think this is perfect size to take. It's a perfect traveling size. Thank you so much. This is um a huge bar. That will be mine and then Cairo can figure out what he's doing, but that's mine. <laughs> okay, so over here is Daisy and my favorite flower of all times is Gerber Daisy. Well, it's a it's a cross between Gerber Daisies and Calla Lilies, but probably Gerber Daisies are my favorite. My mom gets them for me every year for um for Mother's Day. So that's one of the reasons why I want to get this. I really want to try out a daisy scent since I'm not a huge floral person, but this one is nice. Look at that. It has some soda ash on it, but the sparkles mix with the soda ash make it so pretty and then she's got some candy sprinkles on there and it looks like a natural soap color with a pink swirl look at that it's a beautiful bar and her bars are a good size and this is just a soft light perfumey perfumey kind of scent hi guys sorry about that my phone died Anyways, I have it um, charging now through my computer. So I was talking about the daisy soap. And I... And Cairo will not stop talking and interrupting me for some reason. But this one is very beautiful. And I think I'm going to cut this one in half and take with me as well to um, Punta Cana. So I have two bars to choose from. So happy that these arrived when they did because now I have them to take with me and try out while I'm there. Mm, it smells really nice. It's a nice light perfume scent. Very pretty. This next bar here is Cherry Burst and this is a gorgeous looking bar of soap. Look at that. It's got a light mauve type of purple. Well, I guess it's lighter than that, like a, it's a light purple, and then it has like a darker lavender type of purple, and a white swirl in it. And then on top, it's textured, a beautiful texture, and it's got purple and pink glitter. I think it has iridescent glitter in there as well. Just so pretty. This bar is absolutely gorgeous, and it smells so good. It is definitely a cherry, a blast of cherry, or burst of cherry, I should say. <laughs> it smells so good. Mm. Oh, no, I don't know. Maybe I might have to do three bars of soap. <laughs> I think I can cut this in half, too. Well, maybe not, because my soap dish can only hold so much. I might have to cut this into... Maybe I'll see if I can cut it halfway down that way, and then halfway down the middle here so halfway down this way and then halfway down the middle so this is four slices and I can do it that way and then they should be able to fit in my soap dish so that's cherry burst this one back here I already knew what scent this was I remembered when she soaped it and I knew that I had had that soap scent as well but she calls it um, stop smacking and this, if you love bubblegum, you are going to love this one. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like Bazooka Joe's. If you guys remember that bubblegum. Or um, that, the one in the pink wrapper. It was like a little five cent gum that you can get that was like that big. I can't remember if it was Bazooka Joe or... It was like a little one. That's all I remember. There were a couple scents. Not even five cents, probably back in the day that you can buy from the candy store. 
and then um, it's got some ear actually I think it's silver or no maybe it's it's like that um, glitter that has multi like that glitter is multi different colors and it's got um, pink candy sprinkles in there as well it's got a beautiful blue swirl and pink base and a, a, a white topping it's so pretty and that smells really good too and her bars are nice and hard guys oh it smells so delish 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 and that reminds me of Karen oops I'm trying to save my packaging oh no there goes my bow I cut the bottoms so that I'd be able to put my soaps back Okay, so over here, now this one I hadn't ordered. She sent me this as a free gift, and thank you so much, Lori. You are so sweet. Um, this one is watermelon taffy. I have not smelt any um, watermelon soaps, but this one smells delicious. Mm, it definitely smells like watermelon taffy. And it's got green topping, and it's got, it looks like pink sparkles, and that multi-reflex glitter in there. And then the base looks like it has like a pink swirl in with the green, and then it looks like just probably the natural color that the soap turned from the fragrance. Maybe it has vanilla in it. But it smells delicious too. Mm, it's definitely watermelon taffy. Nice bar. Thank you very much for this gift. I appreciate it. I was looking at my, when I opened the package, I was looking at it, I was like, this seems like a lot. <laughs> More than I remembered ordering, but I'm happy for it. And she matched her green with the green and the soap. I love Lori's packaging. It's just so cutesy and girly. I love it. So this one here is Lightly Peach. And this has a white base with a peachy color swirl. It's got pink glitter with that reflex glitter on top. And it also has some candy sprinkles. Very pretty bar. And this definitely smells like, like a fresh ripe peach. Not a candy peach, but a ripe peach. You can really smell the peach in there. And um, it kind of reminds me of the um, peaches and cream I just soaked. But... This doesn't have that cream scent to it. It just has the peach scent that the soap has. That, um, if you know what I'm trying to say. The peach soap, peaches and cream soap that I made recently, that I did a video up on, you can smell the same peach in it, but hers just doesn't have the cream in it. It just smells like the peach, whereas mine, it has that vanilla scent to it, that creamy scent to it. But this smells just amazing. Mmm, lovely. Nice and light, not overpowering. I like her, how she sends her soaps. And this last bar over here is Sparkling Yummy Bubbles. And this is a very beautiful bar. Look at that. So this looks like a very soft pale pink and it has um, like a greenish, turquoisey kind of embeds in mixed in in there and it has some white embeds as well it's got a white topping and it's got this beautiful glitter on top iridescent glitter a couple little candy sprinkles not too many Ooh, I'm watching a video in the background there you go gorgeous and this it it smells like it smells fresh and clean like a bar of soap. It has almost like a little bit of an effervescence to it. This one's a hard one for me to describe, but it definitely smells fresh and clean. And we're well, not fresh and clean, but it just smells nice. It's it has a like it it's like a bubbly scent. I really can't describe it. It's very very nice though. Or well, maybe I'll take a piece of this too. Oh, I don't know, guys. Anyway, I love this. I love the way how, uh, I can't talk guys. I love the way how Lori decorates her soaps. They are so cutesy and girly and beautiful. She does a really good job. 
<coughs> excuse me, sorry guys. So I just wanted to say thanks again, Lori, for sending me all these beautiful soaps. I definitely will be taking them with me, uh, some of them with me to um, Punta Cana, which is Tuesday and when I leave. Today I'm filming this on Thursday, so it's just a few days away before I go. Um, anyway, I want to say thanks again for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Happy bubbling. And remember, my shop will be on vacation mode as of next week, Monday. Um, and I will be reopening it with the launch of the fall, the fall soaps, um, as well as the previous soaps that I had made, which I haven't listed yet. And I will be hopefully soaping before I go, um, and I will try to do a video on that. But I'm planning on soaping a couple of Halloween stuff, and I will explain that when I do the video. If I get a chance to do it, I may or may not. I have a few things I gotta do in the next few days. I'm hoping tomorrow I'll get it done, though. Alright, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a wonderful night. Bye, y'all. Bye. <laughs> Bye from Cairo.